Hey everybody, welcome to AE Games. My name is Jake, and I'm going to be playing a game for you today. This is my first time making this sort of video, as in a Let's Play. Everything I've done up until this point has been live action, so I'm excited to see how this is going to go. So I thought, what would be the best game to play for a first Let's Play ever? Something that would be able to, I'd be able to talk over. I'd be able to tell you about myself. And I wouldn't have to, you know, be too focused in a story of a game or a scary game. So I thought the best game to play right out the bat is one of the most original games. We're going to play Minecraft. So here we go. We are going to update later because I just want to play and play offline. And... While this takes forever to load, I guess I can start talking about myself. My, oh, we're, we're going to create a new world. And this world, let's see here, is going to be in tune with my name on YouTube. It is going to be A.E. Landia. And we're going to put that on normal. More options. We're going to go original. And that is it. We're going to create that new world. So, my name is Jake. I have been making YouTube videos for years on different channels. And I actually have four channels, two of which I'm currently using, two of which... I've done in the past, so bonus points if you can ever find any of those. And I don't know, I've always liked playing games. I've always liked making videos. I'm actually considering pursuing like film as a career. So I figured it'd be good to diversify in the type of filming I do. Normally I do live action, which is what the last two channels have been. And my current channel, AE Productions, I like to make travel videos. It looks like we have a temple right out the bat. Let's see, yeah, we do. That's great. So I like to make travel videos, as I like to travel a lot, which is something that not many high school kids get to say that they do, which I'm, which I like. I'm very fortunate about. It. I've made a couple different travel videos, but only have one up currently, and that was my Boundary Waters trip, which, Boundary Waters, if you don't want to go watch it, which I recommend you do, that's a very cool video, Boundary Waters is a trip where you go to the Boundary Waters, believe it or not, and you canoe for five days straight, eight days, I'm sorry, and on my trip, we carried our food with us, we carried all the, our gear in the bottom of our canoe, and we paddled over 50 miles. We went up to this outfitter, like a group of eight people, and they said, here's your drop-off point, here's your pickup point. And that was it. And they said, if you're not there, then we're calling search and rescue. That's it. So we had no direction on what we were going to do. I should probably start actually playing the game instead of just walking in circles. Uh, we had no direction on what we were going to do. And we went up there, all brought fishing gear, caught fish for dinner every single night, paddled, you know, five to ten miles every single day. Incredible experience. And GoPro, I brought that along, not sponsored, I wish. But I brought my GoPro along to film the whole entire thing. And that was my first time trying this format of video again. I filmed almost like a little bit more of a travel montage, which is something I've never done before. I used to, on one of my old channels, I used to do vlogs, which, <laughs> vlogging is a very original style of video, but I'd recommend you go check it out, it's, it's pretty fun, uh, AE Productions, the link will be on my, the main page of AE Games, outside of playing, outside of filming videos, I like to play sports, I, I ran track, I go to the gym every single day basically, like five days a week, so that's a, and I like to play games, which is a combo that not many people 
understand because they're like, oh, you go to the gym. That must mean you're like really athletic. No, I sit in my basement and play Minecraft and make Let's Plays now, which is something that not a lot of people do in the grand scheme of things. And this is just a good game to start because it's a little bit more focused on the commentary for me as as I get used to figuring out how much I'm supposed to talk, how much I'm supposed to play. Not really sure. Not sure how long this is going to go. Probably probably like 15 minutes or so. Which I feel like would be a good time for an intro and I can just kind of talk about what I want to do with this channel and how I want to set myself apart from the other people that do this type of thing. I've been playing games for a while. I have a PS2, an Xbox 360, PS4, Wii, and then handheld stuff that I don't think you can film on. So I have a variety of diff different games that I've played over the years. And something I'd like to do is not rush to get the newest games filmed as soon as they come out. Not rush through those games just to be able to play them. I want to be able to go back and play some of the old games, some throwback games. So bust out the old PS2, record videos on that, you know. So that's my grandmaster plan. A little bit of new, a little bit of old. This is obviously PS4. I think the next thing I'm going to do is actually a full play of Banjo-Kazooie because that's just one of the best games in general to play. I don't care who you are, the best games to play are The Witcher 3. That's my favorite game ever. Then probably Banjo, the Banjo series. And because of just the goofiness of it, The Witcher 3 because of the immense playability of it. And then a game like this is good to play because of the because of the creativeness of it, which I'm not sure how good of a video just the creativeness of it would be. So I'm going to maybe just make maps in the future or something like that. I want to play around with Minecraft a little bit instead of just maybe just doing straight out Let's Plays like this all the time. But let me tell you, I've been, I was playing uh, The Order 1886 earlier today. I'm trying to platinum it. We can see here, if we close out of this really fast, go up to trophies. I do like to uh, get all the trophies that I can because it puts, uh, the way I feel about it is it's not about as much about the number as it is about the fact that a developer put this in the game because they wanted you to experience it. So why not experience it? I'm at 80% on the order. I'm playing through it a second time to uh, try to get that, those last couple achievements. Let me tell you, first time you play through it, it's an okay game. Second time you play through it, not that good. They took a different route when they decided that 8 out of 16 or so of the uh, chapters in the game are just going to be straight cutscenes. Not sure why they did that. Not very replayable. So just standing here punching a tree is sweet relief compared to the cutscenes of The Order. And I think that after this tree, I'm going to have enough wood to at least start building something. I'm not really sure what the end goal of this video is going to be, whether it's not just, just to talk until I bore myself, or if I just uh, play until I reach a specific point. Maybe... I think maybe the Desert Temple. I found the Desert Temple straight out. Those are kind of fun. That will be the finishing touch. I'll build a house. I'll get this world set up. And I'll go and I'll dive down into the bottom of this desert temple. And that will be the end of my first Let's Play. So we got some wood here. Let's not that menu. I haven't played Minecraft in a while. All right, this menu. Let's, let's build a house. You know, every single time, I've been a fan of Achievement Hunter. For a long time, that's almost that's pretty much who got me motivated to 
make this style of video. Because I want to make quality entertaining footage. Oh, that was some interesting lag. I want to make quality entertaining footage like Achievement Hunter. You know, without having to... What is going on? I guess I'm building a shadow house now. Is it going to work? Would this be technical difficulties? I'm going to call it. Be right back in a sec. All right, everybody, we are back. I think that those issues, whatever they were, are gone. We can continue building this rather small house now that I see it actually being there instead of being little shadow blocks, but it looks like if I can find the sun. Where's the sun? I don't know where it just went. I thought it got darker, but it didn't. Uh-huh. Alright, I guess, nope, definitely got darker. It's definitely getting dark. We are going to go here make some sticks and we're gonna oh no we can't make a wooden sword yet uh, crafting table I have forgotten how to play this game because it's so complex I guess for the rest of the remainder of this video I'll just tell you a little bit more about myself because I'm not really sh like sure what stories I'm supposed to do yet so I live in the mountains of Colorado which is pretty cool, except for the fact that as a teenage guy, there's nothing to do within about 20 minutes of my house. So if I drive for 20 minutes, then I get to, you know, Safeway, which ironically happens to be this town's most popular hangout spot, the Safeway. <laughs> Which sounds pretty sad how that I said that out loud. But it's about 40 minutes, or give or take, like maybe an hour until you, until you get to Denver. So if you want to hang out with your friends, you know, it's like you want to drive for an hour. Which is another good reason to get into gaming. Because then you don't have to go drive an hour to see them. You can go just play games. I like to do a lot of stuff outside, which will be shown more in games where I'm not sitting inside talking to a microphone, but it's all cool because this is just about as much fun to do as is some of the outdoors things to do. So I've had a PS4 maybe, let's see, about a year and a half now, and I skipped over PS3, and let's see here, 673 trophies in a year and a half, I feel like that's something to be proud of, probably not something to brag about, especially not to any ladies, but for an average, you know, non-hardcore gamer, that sounds pretty good to me, and before we wrap this up and go on, and uh, before I film the next video, I think I'm going to think of some uh, interesting stories to tell, because as of right now, I just know I'm supposed to keep talking, I'm just not really sure what I'm supposed to say. Like, I guess that's also a place where having an audience would help, because they could tell me what I'm supposed to talk about. Am I supposed to talk about current events? Am I just supposed to talk about funny stuff that's happened in my life? I don't know. I don't know how to do this any more than anyone else who's making their first video has how to do this. But I think we've been going for coming up on 20 minutes now. That seems like a good amount for a first video. So we're going to go and we're going to raid this desert temple now. Also going to build a door so that we can have a complete house. 
And then after that, I feel like that's a successful Minecraft Let's Play. Some doors. Thrilling end of the most thrilling game. There we go. So, I know that this video and my channel are advertised on the Rooster Teeth website. As per whoever had that good idea of advertising their channels on the Rooster Teeth website. So, uh, whoever's watching, you know, I'm glad that I'm going to have the ability to have an audience pretty much just straight out of the gate. It makes me feel like I'm doing something, but let me know how I can improve this, because this is a learning experience for me just as much as everyone else. All right, let's see here. Get rid of that. All right, what do we got? That was the wrong button. What do we got? What do we got? Why want to work? Do I need like an empty hand or something? Apparently I do. I got gold. Thrilling and some rotten meat. And I need that empty hand again. And what else I got? Some bones. Some iron. Some more gold and some more iron. And some more gold and some more iron and some more food. That's what I would call a successful part one of my Let's Play Minecraft series. I don't know if it's going to be a series, but it sounds like it is now. Um, thanks everyone for watching. And only will get better from here, I hope. <laughs> Not sure where I'm setting the bar, let me know. I just, I'd actually really appreciate any feedback on what I need to do to fix any editing issues, any audio issues. I just kind of looked over here and realized that my uh, gamma looks a little wonky, but that's a problem for another day. So we are going to head out. Thank you for watching, and I'll be back next time with a new game. But...